So one of the things we need to look at is we want to make sort of a removal of a, a node from our tree. Let's say, for example, our 5. It's uh, really relatively uh, simple because it has uh, no children of its own. So what we basically are starting to ask is if node has 0 children. Well, in this case, we can just simply remove it uh, from the tree. There's no uh, extra changes that need to be made. We don't need to do any readjusting. We can simply get rid of it as such. So we strip it out. Now, in this regard, we'd also come in and say something like node uh, dot parent equals null. And we could also find out if it was the left or right child of that parent and then set that parent's, uh, in this case, left dot no node as well. So parent dot left equals null as well. Again, if it was 13, instead we could do a <coughs> uh, right. But actually, let's kind of take a look at that 10. What if, in this case, I came in and said something like remove 10? Now, in this case, we have a child, so we can't do the same thing. And so if uh, that node has one child, that's a terrible one, let's fix that up. If that chi that node has one child, we're going to actually take whatever that node is, I'll call it W, and we are going to set W to where that new, uh, where that node was. So, uh, replace node with child in our case w so that's what we would do we would all, then replace w uh, remove say w the same sort of way we did uh here with our our zero child one we'd come in we'd strip it out and then we would set this equal to now 13 so the last one we have to do our last kind of example would be let's say something like uh, remove 15. Now there's actually two different ways and depending on uh, the implementation we're looking at uh, I would either want to look for uh, sort of my my in-order predecessor or my in-order successor uh, whichever one happens to be uh, you'll find different algorithms that uh, ask for both of them uh, Wikipedia, for example, uses the uh, predecessor version, or I could use the uh, in-order uh, successor. Let's say, for example, I went with the predecessor for this sort of green instance. Predecess, predecessor. In this case, what we would do is we would actually go through and do the same principle. Uh, in fact, uh, let me let me change this to 75, uh, just because this one's already kind of being taken care of. You see, 75 has got a lot of numbers going on, so I can't just immediately strip it out. I don't want to do 65 also. I couldn't, say, turn that into a 65 because 70 is greater than 60, and so we'd be breaking the rules of how a binary search tree should look. Everything on the left is lesser. Everything on the right is greater. So if I wanted to go with the predecessor uh, removal process, in this case, I would want to find sort of my, uh, I would call it the greatest lesser. Greatest lesser. And that's the node that I would make the replacement with. So in my case, I have a 75. 65 is not my greatest lesser, it would actually be the 70, and so I would make sort of that replacement. So uh, if node has two children, replace with greatest lesser or greatest predecessor. 
that's not the only uh, implementation of the removal process. We do also have a version where I look for uh, my in order successor. What's the next node I would do uh, if I was traversing uh, in order and I've just visited 75? What would be the next one? Well, I'd come down, and since 85 has children, again, I can't put 85 here because 80 is less than 85. It would be the exact same principle, so uh, this time we'll do a remove on 75 using the successor model, successor. And so uh, we're looking for the least, least greatest. Again, in that sake, uh, since we're looking at the subtree of 75, we see I've got three nodes. What's the greatest uh, over the least greatest? Uh, in that case, it's the 80, and we would replace with the 80. So both sort of work, and you'll actually see implementations of both of them. There's no real difference. You see a few times that people will argue, what if uh, there's nothing over here on the uh, left-hand side? But I would uh, argue that that's uh, the same if you were to say it on the right side. What if the right only had one child as well? Both of them work in our case.